Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth have gone through their fair share of ups and downs, but let's take a trip down memory lane and see how Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth really met. Dating When it comes to Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth, the two have had quite a lot of ups and downs and have managed to navigate through whatever obstacles arose in their relationship. Shia LaBeouf had previously dated some pretty famous actresses, including the likes of Megan Fox and Carolyn Foe. However, after these relationships did not turn out to be the massive success that either Shia LaBeouf or his partners might have expected, he moved on to dating other people. By 2012, Shia LaBeouf had met Mia Goth, and by December of the same year, the two started dating. But how exactly did they meet? At the time when Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth laid eyes on each other, they were working on the set of a movie called Nymphomaniac Volume 2. This movie was released in 2013, and if you've seen it, you probably already know that Shia LaBeouf played the role of Jerome, whereas Mia Goth played the role of P. In an interview, Shia LaBeouf did admit that he had been in love with literally every woman that he has ever worked with. However, there are times when they're not available. But either way, when the directors yell action, they ended up kissing him, and he gets what he wants, and this is exactly how his relationship with Mia Goth also started. Well, before we take a closer look at how Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth really met, if you like our content so far, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button so you can get notified every time we post a new video, so you can stay updated about what's going on in the lives of some of your favorite celebrities and how their love lives have evolved over time. Heated Arguments Like many couples, Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth had a pretty rocky road. But in their case, a lot of people could tell that things were not working out well for the couple. Sometime after the two started dating, they were caught having a pretty heated argument in public. Shia LaBeouf came in screaming at Mia Goth and told her that he did not want to touch her or else he would become combative. Later, Shia LaBeouf revealed that if he had stayed there, he would have killed her and turned into an abuser, which is something he didn't want to do. The clip of the two having this heated argument in public was all over the press, and everyone from Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth's fanbase were aware about what was going on between the two. While the reason for the argument was not revealed, it was obvious that something must have gone terribly wrong for the two to reach this stage. However, it seems like Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth were able to work things out eventually, and came back to being on good terms. Engagement While Shia LaBeouf definitely does not shy away from falling in love over and over again, with Mia Goth, things seem slightly different. The two started dating in 2012 and kept dating for a total of four years, during which they did have their differences, but Shia LaBeouf did not date anyone else. By 2016, the couple got engaged and Shia LaBeouf surprised Mia Goth with a large diamond ring. As we know from their heated argument, there's no doubt that things were not always working in favor of the couple. But despite the tumultuous nature of their relationship, the two have managed to stay together. Their engagement rumors were confirmed some time later and the two ended up getting married, finally tying the knot. While the two got engaged in March 2016, later in that same month, Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth were spotted wearing matching wedding bands. The two ended up getting married in Las Vegas, with their marriage being officiated by an Elvis Presley impersonator. When we think of celebrity weddings, this is not exactly what we picture. But we guess this is what Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth wanted for their wedding. Married Life The wedding was live-streamed and resulted in leaving a lot of fans in absolute shock. Shia LaBeouf later revealed that the plan was to have a very quiet and private marriage. However, the package that they purchased at the Las Vegas ceremonial place resulted in live streaming. When the two were first informed about the live stream, they said they didn't want it and that their moms were present with them and that was enough. However, upon reaching home, the two realized that a mistake had been made and someone had accidentally released the video to TMZ. Mia Goth and Shia LaBeouf decided to not make a big deal out of it, and later realized that since their dads were not present at their wedding, it was nice that they could join through the live stream. Taking a look at their married life, Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth started facing obstacles once again, and ended up getting separated in 2018. The two announced that they had plans for a divorce, but in early 2019, rumors started circulating that the two were getting back together. After being spotted together in public on many occasions, rumors started circulating that the two were getting back together after being spotted together in public on many occasions. The two officially split up in 2021, after abuse allegations against Shia LaBeouf came forward. Well, here's our take on Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth's roller coaster relationship. Do you think the couple had any chance of survival to begin with? Let us know in the comments below.